Hello, and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. So, I'm gonna make a, you know, I was pretty much uh, under the weather for about a week. And you know, so I wanna eat something kind of healthy. And that is just gonna get my, bounce my immune system back. So I'm gonna make some grilled chicken on the Blackstone, and then make some amazing soup with a bunch of vegetables. So let's go over here and go over all the ingredients that I'm going to be uh, putting in this soup and get started. So here's our shopping list. So check it out. We got a blender in here, right? So there's going to be some blending on some stuff here. So the first thing I have here is um, I got two uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. Chopped them up into, you know, about one inch size. You know, as they always say, you want to try to have all your, uh, you know, pieces about the same size so they cook the same time size. We got a zucchini over here, right? One zucchini. Um, some fresh uh, beans, string beans. We got some clove, some uh, garlics back here, which goes over here. Then we have some carrots. We have uh, two celeries, celery stalks diced, diced up. And I have an onion. I'm doing a whole onion because I can, and uh, yeah, onions are good for you. And then we have a little bowl of broccoli here. So really good for you. What else do we have? Okay, so um, serrano pepper, one whole pepper. And then we have some cilantro. Think of that. And like I said, the garlic. This, oh, along with some low sodium chicken broth. So there's about four, six, six cups of what I'm gonna be using here. So um, I generally don't go with the stuff. I go with the, I have the stuff in the refrigerator that I blend up that is really good broth. But I wanted this quick. And uh, this is quick and it's okay and it's not bad for a soup. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna slap a little bit of oil on here. I only have one side on, about three quarters of the way. And then um, get that chicken breast. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, a little seasoning on this chicken here. Like I said, I'm using some uh, Paul Chef Paul Magic seasoning blend for poultry. It's poultry magic. There it is right there. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus. There it is. Right there. Let's go ahead and put a little drizzle this little bit of this on there. It's good stuff. But I have some stuff coming soon, and uh, super excited about it. So let's get this chicken going. Okay, so uh, different spatula here, so I don't get any cross contamination in that raw chicken, which it's going to be all boiled anyways. So first thing I'm going to do is just these harder uh, veggies like the carrots. And let's go with the celery. What we're gonna do here, which I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but I'll slap it, butter's always good. Slap a little thing of butter down in the center there. And what else? Mm, the beans. Put those in there. and saute those up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, vegetable magic on these uh, vegetables here. It's a little bit. A little bit of oil. And give these a toss and turn. And then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cook these very long, so. Just to get a not quite crispiness on them. And 
and uh, I'll drop some onions on them. Yeah, so I don't want these cooking very long. They're gonna cook in uh, inside that uh, soup. Boy, this smells so good. And a uh, little bit of this uh, magic back on there. Okay. Over here on this chicken. This chicken's pretty much done. We're gonna call this kind of good. I don't want this chicken cooked up too much. So I'm gonna turn that burner off. And uh, soups is one of my like favorite things. I love I love soup, man. Even if it's like 100 degrees outside, I just soup is just one of my faves. You can you can create whatever type of soup. There's so many ways of making soup, you know. So there's so many ways of making soup. So that chicken is done. We're gonna call that good. I don't want it done too much. It's going in soup, so. All right, we're calling it good. Vegetables. And I'm gonna call these vegetables ready to go too. All this is gonna be thrown in the pot. Let that butter melt up in there. Um, we've got the zucchini, that's going to go in, that's going to go in, and then our corn. I'm going to drop in about four cups of uh, this chicken broth. And then we're going to drop these potatoes in there. And then uh, two of these uh, potatoes. Okay, so let's go ahead and just toss all these vegetables in there. All the goodness. Grab pretty much all the chicken, getting all the juices from this and butter. Got some stuff trying to escape. zucchini in there, broccoli, give that up a little mix, and uh, I'll be adding some more liquid here in a second, and uh, throw my corn in there. Like I said, it's about a cup, cup and a half, whatever you want to put in there. So let's go ahead and put some ingredients in this thing here. And I'm gonna go with, uh, have my serrano pepper here and cut that end off. Drop that guy in there. I'm dropping it whole. And um, I have about four garlic, garlic uh, pieces of garlic here. Big old chunk of garlic, I mean it. Lately, garlic's kind of stunk, but look at that guy. That is a beautiful piece of garlic. Focus, come on. That is an amazing piece of garlic. Toss those in. Um, cilantro, right? A lot of people don't like cilantro. Let's toss, let's toss those down in there. Hopefully that mixes up okay. 
about, I don't know, a couple cups, cup and a half of this broth here. I'm gonna push this stuff down a little bit so it mixes up really good. A little bit more broth. And uh, let's go ahead and give this a mix. Little pulse, power on first would be nice. Okay, I'm back. So you might want <laughs> be wondering why I've got two of them. Because they're two different ones and this was fitting the wrong one. So let's try this again. Let's uh, get this blended up. Uh, power. Stop that. Get some of those big leaves down. And uh, medium. Blend that up really good. Probably for about 15 seconds or so. Not very long. And we're gonna go ahead and take that along with the uh, another couple cups of this broth and put it in the pot over there. Okay, so here's our soup mix. It's starting to get warm in there. I'm gonna cool it down and give us some more uh, liquids. Okay, here's our, our green brothy <coughs> stuff that we uh, made. Sorry about my dog barking there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of this uh, broth in there, about two cups. That should be plenty. And let's go ahead and mix her up. Whew. Tell me that does not look delicious. Yum. Well, I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper in here. Some fresh ground pepper. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and let it simmer. I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. Until those potatoes are, you know, kind of soft. And just a couple dashes of salt. I don't want too much salt. And we'll give that a little mix. Take a look at all that goodness right there. You know, my goodness. And let's go ahead and cover, because if you're looking, you're not cooking. Okay, so I have this at a boil right now. We're gonna go ahead and turn it down all the way and let this simmer. Oh, if you could just smell what this smells like. Oh my goodness, this smells delicious. I take it off the burner a tad because it burns, this uh, cooks hot. So put it at a little tiny simmer and uh, give it about 10 minutes. Okay, so I have this grill about almost halfway, but not quite. And let's go ahead and toss this yummy garlic bread on here. Let's go ahead and flip these. These gotta be uh, doing pretty good. Yeah, this guy here needs a little bit longer. Pull him up there. Get it back over there. And uh, I'll put it right there. Boy, look at that. That look good. How's our soup doing? Let's go ahead and give it a little mix here. Oh boy. This is looking pretty, pretty good. Cover 
we're back up. Okay, we're gonna probably call this soup good, like done. Go ahead and turn this burner off. And it's been on there for about 10, 15 minutes. And the smells that are coming off of this are super, super, super amazing. So let's go ahead and plate this stuff. Grab a bowl. Get a lot of those good vegetables. Look at that, look at that stuff. Oh my goodness. Right here, that's what it's all about right here, guys. Look at that, look at that broth. I mean, it's not, I, I make my own bone broth also, but um, this was just something quick. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if you can see this. I can't tilt it, but yeah, there it is. There you go. Um, it's a little bit. The smells that are coming off of this is out of this world. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this. Oh, look at all these veggies, you guys. The vegetables, right? Look at this. So many different vegetables in this thing. You know? Look at that. We have some beans in here, right? Fresh, fresh vegetables. All these are fresh vegetables, except for the corn, of course. And uh, what's really good is if you um, take a whole cor cor uh, corn in the cob and you season it all up, you know, and you slap it on the grill, even like the, the Blackstone, whoo, and then you scrape off that corn and you put it in a soup like this. Super amazing. But let's go ahead and try this. I've got some potatoes in here. You know, I've got some, you know, celery, broccoli. That broccoli is super good. And I already know the, the broth is just gonna be super amazing. See if I can burn myself. Mm. The celery still has a little bit of a crunch to it, just a little bit. Man, the carrots are just cooked just perfect. And this broth, oh my goodness. Tell me that is not really good for you and healthy. I don't know about this stuff. You know, this garlic bread. Ooh, look at that garlic bread. You know, you dip it in there and soak up some of the, that, you know, the juices. And that crunch. Wow. I'll get back to that here in a bit. Thank you for watching. You know, I really appreciate it when you guys stop by and watch my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button down below. Always hit that thumbs up, no matter who's, whose videos you're watching. It just, uh, it's a good thing to do for uh, that particular YouTuber, you know. If you don't like it, that's fine. Hit the thumbs down. But for the most part, you know, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. And I will see you on the next cook.